Hi guys, Jasmine here. So I have got a mystery box from Poptaria today. This is, I believe, the Christmas mystery box. Um, my postman showed up and passed it to me like this through the door. And I almost had a heart attack, you can probably see why. But I know Poptaria always pack things so well that I'm not even a little bit worried about the outside of the box. Um, everything I've always got from them has been like so well bubble wrapped and so well protected that I don't think anything really could damage them. So, you know, let's just crack into this. There's all kinds of weird stickers on this. Um, but I'm so excited by this. Um, I, this was actually a surprise. So some people who follow me on social media will know that this was a surprise for me. Um, I'd been looking at these mystery boxes on the Poptaria website and I had been so upset that I actually couldn't afford to get one. Um, I kept looking at it going, oh, I wish I had the money. I don't want to miss out. You know, I managed to get the Halloween box, the horror box. Um, I've got all the boxes in the past that I could and I really was just so worried that I was going to miss out on this. And then boom, I got shipping confirmation and it turns out that I had ordered this at some point in time, but I don't know when. Um, and I'd prepaid for it, so it was it was a super surprise. So you guys, I've got this at a point where you guys can see exactly what I can see. These things are awesome. And did you know that if you wet them, they disappear? Faith showed me. She put it in water and just gone, vanished. Talking about Faith, I probably won't get to see a single one of these. She loves salt and vinegar chips, so they will probably get stolen straight away. Ooh. She's an onion for Levi. Okay, here is my invoice. Christmas mystery box pre-order. Large. So they did these in different sizes. You'll have to forgive me, I've got a really sore throat this week. Alright, so if this video has lots of editing, chopping together and backwards and forwards, it's because of me coughing. Alright, what have I got here? Oh wow! Deck the Halls 1000 piece puzzle includes certificate of authenticity and collector's coin. So that's pretty cool. As far as uh, jigsaw puzzles go, I do like that. Now straight away I am seeing a soda, which is even better. A snow miser. So I believe this is one of the uh, Christmas ones, I don't know. It's a year without a Santa Claus. Uh, it does have a chase, I guess I just open it and find out if I have one. Let's crack into it. No point in only half opening the mystery box. So the common looks like this. I hope you guys can see. I am a bit far away, sorry, but I wanted to get the whole box in so you could see everything as I open it. Um, whew! My goodness. It's smelly. So I believe it's the normal. I don't... I don't know if there's a variation. But, um, I'll have a look. Oh, look, he's got icicles hanging up his nostril. Let's uh, crack this open and see. Yeah, one out of 6,250. All right. That's stinky. That is a very, very smelly soda. I wonder what they do to them to make them smell so strong. Like that is the next level stink. Whew. So I can't remember how much this box costs. Um, but going by mem memory, I think most of Poptaria's large mystery boxes were around the $200 mark. So I don't believe they are still available. Oh, okay. We have another soda. Uh, this is Yukon. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, official licensed product. So this does have a chase as well. Um, show you the common variant on the back. He's just got a pickaxe and his hand up. 
guess we'll try and crack into this and see what he's got here. I'm seeing lollies and they're going to come in handy today. I feel like using lollies. Okay. <laughs> he's actually so cute. Alright, it doesn't look very good on the actual can, but uh, in person, that's actually really adorable. Alright, so I believe this is just the common. Jeez, uh, I need some bigger muscles. It is one of 4,200. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, wrap this back up. So I believe... Pop Tarry always smash it out of the park with these. And I'm pretty happy already. So, you know, I don't collect um, sodas. I should really start collecting them because I keep getting them from all different places. I only really collect my Nightmare Before Christmas ones. Alright. Well, I'm pretty sure I already have a home for this because I know somebody who is uh, pretty mad about Harley Quinn. How cute is that? Superhero plushies. Some uh, Patty Mix lollies. And some jelly beans. Uh -oh. I was hoping some of these would be in there. These are actually my favourite. I don't know whether it's because I used to work in a nursing home and every Nana and Pop that I worked with would give me these at Christmas time. Like they'd all have the little things open, you walk into their room and they're like, have a biscuit now. And these are just so good. My favourite. So I'm happy. It's so heavy as well. Alright, what do I have here? Ooh, okay. I haven't had this one before. So Snake Face, the 20... Oh, that's creepy. Masters of the Universe, 2021 for convention. So I actually didn't get this from the convention and I haven't had it come through any of my mystery boxes. So it's always good to get pop models that I don't have. Let's just stick that there for now. Oh yes! <laughs> the Grinch do it yourself. I do like um, all the Dr. Seuss stuff. So this is really sick. And I like these do it yourself pops, although I don't actually think I am going to paint this. I think I'll just leave this one as it is in the box. It's pretty cool. I'm going to get this stuck over here. Oh. Another Mare Pop keychain, which I do believe I have, but that is okay. Can never have too many keychains. Uh -huh. Oh, these are actually awesome. Now, I think you actually have to see these in person to really appreciate them. Um, but the gingerbread Thor. I don't really want to mess around with... Let's see if I can get this a bit closer for you. I don't really want to mess around with trying to take them out of protectors and out of boxes. Um, but they are really cool. The, the little lollies on there actually look really realistic. I do like the gingerbread line. Synapses. Funko. <gasps> There's llamas. Are they llamas? I think they're llamas. Dude, they're llamas. I don't know if I need to open that right now. Dang it. Ages five and plus. Now I am over five, so I'm allowed to open this. No judgment, guys. I'm over five. Oh my goodness. How does one open a snapsy? It's like little stickery things. Let's put that down in there. So these are actually like like those little roll balls that you get, but they're Funko branded. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Where did the little bits go? Uh, I'm gonna have to look on the floor. There's like little little balls fell out somewhere. 
I was not prepared for tiny balls. Oh, what? This is a project for later. Anyway, this looks awesome, but this is definitely a project for later. This is a build it thing and and I don't have the patience to build it right now. So you can you can go in here. And I will build you later, snapsy thing, after I find your balls. Okay. Whoa, that's cool. Who's that? Alex Float. Funko Minis. It's actually floating in the box. It's a little Pixar Funko thing. I haven't seen those before. That's actually really cool. Oh, yes! Nightmare for Christmas card game. Oh. I'm always happy when I get that on Nightmare for Christmas things. Especially when I do not have... Oh no! Especially when I don't have them. I just have to find somewhere where it fits. Will you fit here? You won't fit there. Alright. Stay. Oh. Now I actually have a lounge fly collector in my family now because uh, Winter has recently started collecting lounge fly. So this might just go straight over to her. So it's pretty cool. It's a uh, Pocahontas. Yay! Ha ha ha! Tigger! The new Tigger Christmas. I actually almost bought this from Fanbase the other day, so I'm kind of glad that it came in a mystery box. Um, yeah. So this is like well over $200 and stuff, if that's what I paid for it. Either way, it's uh, a really good value box. And the Chapa Chaps advent calendar, which will go to young Levi, because uh, he likes this kind of thing. He'll probably eat them all in one day, but who knows. Now I'm just going to double check, there's nothing little floating around the bottom of the box. There is not, so that is the end of it. Maybe I'll find the little balls. Hopefully they fell in here with all these uh, peanuts, but not on the floor where I may never see them again. Um, but yeah, definitely highlights for this box for me was the lounge fly purse. You know, these are like, what, 50 bucks on their own, most of them. Um, so that's a win right there. Nightmare for Christmas game, which I do not have, which is also a win. I'm loving my pops. I think I got really good pop vinyls there. Um, yeah, so at the end of the day, I got some really cool stuff. And I got my Nana Biscuits. I hope everybody else who got one of these mystery boxes appreciates their Nana Biscuits, because these things are the best. You should buy one for everyone for Christmas, because they rock. Anyway, thank you, Poptaria. We love you very much. Mwah, mwah. It was good to see you guys. Um, thanks for the mystery box. Yay! And uh, I'll see you again next time. Merry Christmas. Bye.